Hello everybody. This is gonna be probably my last service call of uh, Tuesday, I guess. Yeah, Tuesday. It's 3.30. The service call is about a walking freezer. <coughs> it is uh, 50 degrees since uh, last night. They notice it at 2 a.m. So um, if I remember right, this system it got two condensers, two evaporators in one walk. Kind of a strange setup. Uh, it's not the first time that I see it, but in one time. Uh, well, I, I'll show you in a minute kind of funny the way that they have it so that's the service call about I'll see you there all right this is the walking freezer they got these two evaporators evaporators with the uh, EC motors the top is not running at all I don't see ice the one in the bottom is running I got some ice behind the fence I don't know about the evaporator Oh. I don't know. <clears throat> We're gonna go up on a roof and see what what the hell is happening. All right, see you there. I hope it's I hope it's the defrost clock. Something like that it will be good. Thank you boss. This roof is fun. All oh, every every summertime is a bunch of bees over here. I need to fight with them. All right, this is what we got. They got this two condenser units. As you can see, one for each evaporator. This is the one in the bottom which is the one that is running and that one is the one at the top uh, which is not running So, it doesn't have the uh, freaking defrost clock on it, you know. So we have to have this. Actually, we didn't install it. We found it like that. So every one of them has his own defrost clock. Which, for a high-tech condenser fan, is not really, really good. All right, let's see what we got. First bad thing is 
calling for refrigeration is not in defaults I guess nope so they should be running compressor is not running so all right let's start That's funny. Let's disconnect the compressor for now. First guess is that the contactor is bad. <clears throat> All right, oh, I was pulling the uh, contactor just to get the information out of it. I'm gonna get it anyways. And I found that the uh, one, this connector coil is kind of a loose I mean very loose so I'm gonna try to squeeze it a little and give it another shot probably probably the problem is just that the uh, connection for the coil is not really strong and we gotta give it another shot Well, it didn't chatter as before. Now we show you in 20. Compressor about to turn on. All right. I'm guessing that that was the whole thing. Let's put everything back together and see what happens. Sometimes these problems are not so complex. Okay, showing 20. 20 says error. Compressor about to turn on. I don't know what that means.
I still have the same Okay, we got 10 now 10 compressor on I don't know why it tried three times in a row I don't know if that is normal if that is the way that it's supposed to be but so far I can see the only problem was the connector in the back of the uh, of the contactor which is is the common the common for the uh, the coil let's find out 430 I don't like it. But that's the way that it is. All right, let's go downstairs. See what we got. My meter. My meter is <coughs> screw up. I hope I don't need it today. I need to get another one. Let's see if I can make some time to grab it from our warehouse. I'm on call, so I don't want to be on call without a meter. So I need to make it on time to grab another meter. It's an old meter, the one that I had. Well, you know which one is. And I, I've been having problems with that meter as you, as I told you guys before. Now it took a shit finally. Let's see what we got. All right, I'm on my way to the warehouse to see if I can grab a meter. Thanks God, the warehouse is just around the block basically it's just really close so I'm gonna grab it the uh, I can see that the uh, the box is already dropping temperature really quick so in the meantime when I'm I'm gonna let it run for a little while I'm gonna grab a meter come back here and make sure that everything is fine but uh, if it's not at least I have the meter because the warehouse is gonna close in a, in a few minutes so I hope I can make it on time is running the bottom one is not it's probably a defrost that's what I'm thinking so uh, I'm gonna wait a few minutes I want to see this one running Going back again up on the roof, just want to make sure that the other unit is on defrost or what the hell is happening now. Now the one that it wasn't working is, alright. Yeah, she's in goddamn defrost. Can you believe it? Alright. Time 
me see. Ah, oh, Jesus. <clears throat> All right. They got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 30 minutes this side. Uh, 30 minutes cycle of FIFA. They got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two. Eight, 30 minute cycle, but they are not synchronized. See, for example, they, the, the one that is gonna go next is, go, is, the, is the 6 p.m. on that one and this one on 6 p.m. I got nothing in my opinion they both should go together in defrost and together on freezing all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass the defrost cycle there you go hold on all right like i said i just passed the defrost cycle into the first pin and we're gonna leave it like that we're gonna go to this one and gonna do the same it doesn't matter the time because the cycles repeat in the same pattern so that's as close synchronized we can be so they both gonna be running freezing and defrost together all right the temperature right now is about minus eight minus seven Both of them running. All right. Good to go. Let's go back home. Thank you for staying, guys.